those of you who think that your parents love you unconditionally just do this one thing go up to them and tell them that you will not take care of them when they grow old they should have no expectations on you whatever they are doing to you it's their responsibility and they have to do it wholeheartedly without expecting anything from you ladies and gentlemen my name is kartik poo and i'm a leadership coach and author and i am in this absolutely wonderful lush green forest and uh some thoughts are coming to me and i'm sharing them with you as and when it's happening what do you think will happen when you tell this to your parents where will all that so called unconditional love that they were telling goes just say this and let them know that you seriously mean it just observe your treatment you'll be surprised to know that all the deceptions break and you are nothing but an assured old age insurance as a child you are nothing but an assured old age insurance and they are play, paying a premium every month on you and they are expecting the dividends to be very very strong huh? if you don't know about it i remember having grown with the song in malayalam and i will translate the meaning to you come let's go out just uh, being a little more gracious the snow is coming it's so nice let's go out come wow look at this you see that snow absolutely amazing mist what a wonderful mist this is the forest mist only when you are in grace you can venture into the forest like this otherwise it's not advised to come out and me being in grace gives me that opportunity to come out and i'm also i understand the language of the jungles it's a gracious time i was just pausing the video and taking a nice walk across i thought okay let me also include you now what a beautiful space this is absolutely amazing vibrant recharged and rejuvenated this ambience which i feel is a relinquishing experience is something you know that allows you to think people have stopped thinking and that is where they have gone into this kind of deceptive modes of understanding where they feel low where they feel disconnected with themselves and also they take the unnecessary burden of the family loyalty you think there's so much of sacrifice that the parents have done not realizing that you are nothing but an assured old age insurance for them and if you don't trust me you must try going and talking about these things with your parents and you will know the reality you know the reality for sure and don't be shocked because you were nothing but an old age insurance and they had nothing but paying in the premium i was talking to you about this uh song which uh i listen to you know but before i am going to sleep so do this uh woman i will not name in any kind of a relationship now because i don't believe in relationships that are bonded 
and they happen from the family. She used to tell a song in Malayalam. Okay, and I will translate it to you and you will know how deceptive right from her childhood and what the surrogate marketing has happened. We think Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Apple, these are all marketing geniuses. No, 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 no. Then nothing in front of this kind of surrogate marketing that happens, especially in traditional families. I'm not just telling in India, it can be in America, it can be Native Americans, it can be Africans, it can be Europeans, everywhere. And let me tell that story to you. It's like a song, okay? And it begins like this. Yende Bhagan Krishna Nunni Krishna Nunni Avenam Krishna Nunni Ayal Pora Kaliya Mardhana Madenam Kaliya Mardhana Madyal Pora Samma Nangal Medikenam Samma Nangal Medichal Pora Ameda Kail Kudukenam so, what is the meaning of this song, Kartik Puvanam? You may be thinking. Let me just divide the meaning and share it with you bit by bit. Yende Magan Krishna Nunni Krishna Nunni Avenam. So, the lady is telling, Hey, my son, you are like Krishna and you must become like Krishna. I don't know, you know. First of all, that meaning itself is very deceptive, you know. Yende Magan Krishna Nunni, Krishna Nunni Avenam. So you yourself saying that I am like Krishna and I should become like Krishna. So there is a confusion there itself in that statement. Let's leave this aside, okay? Let's go ahead. Krishna Nunni Ayal Poras Kaliya Mardana Madenam. That means there is an ancient lore where, you know, Krishna is dancing on the snakes. It's called Kaliya Mardanam. So, the woman is telling me that just by becoming Krishna, it's not enough. You must dance like Krishna. You must learn Kaliya Mardanam. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting for you. Kaliya Mardanam Adiyal Pora. That means it's just not enough. For you to just play and dance like Krishna. It's just not enough for you to learn the dance. It's not enough. Kaliya Mardana Madhyal Pora Sammanangal Medikyanam. Catch this line, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Very, very important. Deep surrogate marketing. Kaliya Mardana Madhyal Pora. It's just not enough if you simply dance. You have to win a prize. Just see what's getting fed in the brain. What a venom. What is a venom? Why that song is not saying, I must dance in joy. I must not be bothered about what people are thinking about me. I must not allow my dance to be judged by people. I must feel the flow of life. I must feel the connectedness of life. I must just dance. No, this is not being said. Kaliya Mardana Madhyal Pora Sammanangal Medikyanam Somewhere deep down an instruction is given. It's just not enough. If you would simply learn how to dance, you must win a prize. That young boy that I was, when I was over four years of age I continued to listen to this almost not for one year, two year, three years I remember this and everywhere it made a deep impact in me no matter what I was doing I wanted to get prize, something and if I participate in an event and I don't get prize I feel very low is this not happening to a lot of children today? are they participating? The participation itself has been murdered because somewhere people are not confident of winning a prize. You'll be shocked to know 
that when I go to an engineering college and I do workshops, when I invite students to come over the stage and just give a small introduction about themselves, you know the percentage of the students that come up? Not even 2%. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very important for you to break these patterns. Because if you don't break these patterns which are set by the society, you will struggle. Today I drive a BMW X3. I've gone to more than 35 plus countries. I do workshops at eminent levels. Recently I do have done workshops in a which was participated by eminent people over 355 top institutions across India. I connect with people at the senior leadership levels and why am I sharing all this with you? Just simply because somewhere I eliminated all of these things and now I'm not governed by the consequence. I'm enjoying the process. Even if these people were not participating, I would still be very, very happy doing what I'm doing. And the thing is, if you eliminate these patterns, you will grow much beyond what you think much beyond what you have ever thought and that is the purpose of sharing this with you so be free from this deception of the ancient the old sayings i won't call it ancient saying ancient sayings are true wisdom which i'll share in another video with all of you but look at this deceptiveness kaliya mardanam adiyal pora samanangal medikenam and here's where it gets very, very more deceptive. And how deep installation is added. Look at this. Pay close attention to this. Huh? Here's where your whole life is getting fixed. Here's where you are getting into a big family loyalty. Here's where you are getting into a very, very big burden. So listen to this line and understand it very, very carefully. Samma nangal medi chal pora ameda kail kudkenam. What is this? Just not enough. If you just win prizes, you have to give it in the hands of your mother. Somewhere deep down, an installation is laid that you must pay the price to your mother, hand it over to your mother. Whatever you earn, whatever you learn, whatever you do, always be thankful to your mother. Surrogate marketing. Surrogate, deep surrogate marketing. I win the prize. Why should I not keep it with myself? <laughs> no, I should give it to my mother. This kind of deception has been going on for a very long time. And until and unless you learn how to unlearn these patterns, ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very difficult for you to experience freedom of time, freedom of, you know, gratitude. You know, it's, it's not possible. Uh, I have told my mother very carefully that, you know, and, and listen to this. I trained my mother also. I tell her that, see, listen. You have not done any favor to me by, you know, giving me space in the stomach for nine months. I never asked you. I never came knocking at your stomach. So please don't play to this gallery what your mother has taught you, what her mother might have taught her, what the whole society is teaching. Connect with me with love. Connect with me. Appreciate that I'm breathing. When you see me, let there be a smile in your face. And I will reciprocate that. I will connect with you in love, not in bondage, not in family loyalty, because that burden stinks. And after a period of time, children want to run away from their parents. Do you want me to run away from you? And she was intelligent enough to understand this. This is important. People understand. It's very, very important. And I'm sharing these things with you from the middle of the jungles. It's a raw life. Perceive it and experience a great time of freedom and connect with your parents with love, not with bondage, not with loyalty. If they're not worthy, it's fine. You don't talk with them. 
This is what is happening to a majority of the population. But understand that you are also denied with love. You are also wounded. And all that you seek is wholesome acceptance of life. You want to be included as a person. You want to be included as a human being. You want to be included as someone who is breathing. You want to be appreciated because you are alive today, not because of your social accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I value my life not because of these things that I possess, not because of these luxury toys, Mercedes, BMW, not because these I own, not because, you know, I do workshops at eminent levels, not because I travel to various countries. This happened around me. I value my life because fundamentally I'm life. I'm living in this life for such a long time. And when I think of life, a deep intoxication happens within me. I cannot express the gratitude. It's so beautiful feeling. It's such a relinquishing experience. And every day when I experience these tears of joy, my God, I can't tell you how wonderful I feel, how joyful I feel. And people are simply trying to drug themselves. People are simply trying to have alcohol, smoke. No. Life is such a profound experience. You can just be stoned. All those chemicals that you take through the drugs happen right from within you. It's time to start connecting with nature. I'm going to be here. I'm being intoxicated with life. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, accept life the way it is and have a direct connection with life. You will be stoned and your cheeks will be rubbed with tears of joy. There will be a flow. And this is a blessed life. Every day in the morning I experience tears of joy. When I speak to people I experience tears of joy. And if you are watching this and if tears of joy has come to you, you are blessed. Have a wonderful time everybody. Stay blessed, stay energized. And I will continue to experience these woods for some more time. In joy and in grace and in love. Have a fantastic time.